Hey man, you want to take a hit of this? There you go. <coughs> Whoa. Seems, Seems to be hitting, hitting you fast, fast huh? Is everything, Is everything okay? okay? Are you, you feeling, feeling all right? right? Oh, it's, it's messing, messing you up, you up huh? <laughs> now that you've had a hefty dose of copium, we're going to be talking about the current state of COD while I get my leftover weapons polyatomic. And to get polyatomic on these guns that I still have left, we need to get in between 20 to 25 headshots for each of them. And before we hop in game, let me show you the guns that we still have left to do and the builds for them that I found on Google. So here's our EBR-14. Here's our LMS. Here's our TAC-M. And our Signal-50. And now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and hop in. There we go. Starting off with a headshot. But before some people out there go ahead and put their meat riding hats on and defend this game for whatever reason. Uh, let me preface this by saying I do like this game at its core. I think the gameplay is fun, but where it's heading like content wise is very concerning, not only for me, but for everyone that enjoys the COD franchise. Like in my opinion, I think this game is kind of heading in like a Halo Infinite direction. Like if you guys don't know Halo Infinite, that game dropped with probably some of the most fun like halo gameplay we've seen with absolutely nothing going for it outside of that they didn't add any maps any new game modes like literally anything to the game until i think like a few months ago and the game's been out for maybe two years now and i kind of fear that's where this game is going like by the time its life cycle is over it's two year life cycle there'll probably be enough content in here for this game to be worth the 70 dollar price tag they added to it like we'll have all the maps into it we'll have all the modes uh, warzone will probably be like fully fleshed out by then but as it stands right now it, it, we're, we're towards the end of season one with i think like two weeks left of it and i don't really see too much more content being added to it i mean without having having to wait the entire long time period for every single thing to be added into the game. Like we've only gotten two remade maps in Shoe House and Shipment. And I don't know if season two is going to add a whole lot more to keep a lot of people invested in it. Because I think this game can go pretty far in terms of like more recent CODs. Like Vanguard, I don't think did very well. I wasn't a big fan of it. I didn't play it too much. Uh, I like Cold War but things got pretty repetitive in that i you know i went through and i made two different accounts to play through zombies on there and modern warfare 2019 i liked a lot but this game's kind of like oh you liked modern warfare 2019 here's it again but with less things to do i'm not here to be like oh the active number of players is dropping off this game's dying whatever because i feel like you know with every content update people will come back and play it for a bit and then more people drop off of the game as it goes on that's just how all cods go at this point because every game is like live service you wait for an update you wait for them to add content and then you come back check it out and if you like what's there you stay for a bit if you don't then you wait till the next update or you just don't come back in the next update like from my point of view in this game i kind of treat it like a black and mild and i'm only here for the rap also speaking of which if you're still smoking black and milds go ahead and take your osiris's off 2013 ended a long time ago but the most fun I have in this game is grinding for the camos. It gives me something to do in this multiplayer. Like, mindlessly progressing through a lot of stuff, which I honestly enjoy, like, mindlessly grinding for unlockables. Like, just giving some sort of decent gameplay with something to, uh, you know, go for is a big aspect of why I play COD. But once the grind is complete, like, I'm getting my last few camos here before they add in some new guns, there's not much holding me into it. Like, I'm still gonna go for all the weapon masteries. Uh, we've actually started streaming though so shout out to those of you guys that came by the stream but it's such like a, a, a different kind of grind because i'm not even really doing it because i like how the emblems look and how the calling cards look it's just something to do and you know outside of grinding camos i think i'll continue to play warzone every now and again because it's always fun to hop on there with my friends and it, literally the the main appeal of that mode at least to me and the people I play it with is the prox chat because it's literally just us running around and messing with people. Like I, I'm not playing Warzone for its like high paced gameplay and all of its immaculate looting mechanics and all that. Like I just play it because it's something goofy and stupid that me and my friends enjoy. And I think DMZ is cool. Like it's nice that they're doing something outside of the normal and it's, it's refreshing to see something different in call of duty but i think it can be fleshed out more there can be some more stuff that you can do in unlock outside of trying to exfil 300 times and unlock a calling card and a hemorrhoid in the process but like after you play it a few times you, you kind of get the gist like i haven't gone gone into building 21 or whatever the hell it's called actually i think i got that right 
you know, good on me. Because I haven't really had too much interest in going in and getting it, because what do I get for it? I go in there and I exfil with a few hundred dollars, few maybe a few hundred thousand dollars, and I come out of it with XP. What's that XP going towards? I'm already level 250. It's not like I unlock anything past level, like, what, 55 anyways? All my weapons are leveled up. All my camos are unlocked. There's nothing to work towards. It's like once you unlock everything, and I know not everybody goes through and tries to unlock everything and all the camos, but like there's the game is kind of stale after that. Sure, there's like spec ops and things like that, and that could be fun for a little bit, but there's only so much of that you can do. And there is that raid, and I did do it, and we will be uploading it soon. That was all right. I, I won't give away too much, but I feel like the most fun you can have in this game is stuff you make out of it. Like, I'm not going to hop in and do some, like, daily challenges because what do I get out of those daily challenges? Just XP that, again, goes towards nothing at this point. And it's just disappointing to see out of a franchise that I've spent the last, like, three, four years, like, dedicating a decent portion of my life to. And I think everything I just outlined is a problem that the devs are either aware of in can't do anything about or refuse to do anything about and this all boils down to a lack of communication between like developers and the people that play their game because if you go and look at i think it's infinity wards twitter it's one of the call of duty twitter accounts i don't think it's their main one and i don't think it's raven but infinity wards i'm just gonna assume it's affinity wards for right now their twitter account has all comments like disabled you can't reply to anything they tweet out which is basically just them spitting in the face of everybody who has these concerns about the game and want things fixed they don't always you know deliver this information to call of duty in a way that is like constructive you know how cod players are we're not the most art articulate as you can tell by the way i'm stuttering through saying any word that is more than one syllable but if you zoom out a little bit and kind of look at what they're saying everybody has the same opinion is that they just want to see this game be better and do better and just looking at the way they disabled our one of our main communication lines between us and the people that can fix these problems just shows where the game's at currently which brings me to another point which is kind of brought on to me by one of the most heartfelt comments i've received on youtube in my time doing this which comes from and i'm sorry in advance because i'm gonna butcher this name i i have a reading level that uh rivals a lot of five-year-olds in the nation but this comes from tsunami I, I i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be pronounced kind of like tsunami it even has the wave there but i'm sorry i'm butchering this and i'm gonna have it on screen for a second here because it's it's pretty long and i don't want to have it taken up most of the screen but i'm gonna give a little tldr of you know what it kind of says basically it says that they've been watching since the modern warfare 2019 guides which really like kind of catapulted the channel into me actually being able to do this you know kind of full time and so how they followed me through like cold war dark matter into dark aether into what i'm doing now and how they've seen kind of this trend of you know youtubers that they like to watch put themselves in a box and play just strictly one game and see that game not really be what it used to be and those creators getting burnt out and just kind of disappearing off the platform and how they didn't want that from me that that's a very dumbed down version of what they said so I, i'm sorry for kind of like misconstruing it slightly to make it more like concise but that's kind of like the gist of it and with the way everything is in this game and how it's been for a few years I kind of feel the same way. And before what I'm going to get into what I'm about to say, this doesn't mean that I'm never going to play COD again and I'm just completely abandoning this game and I'm not going to touch it again in my life because it, it seems to a lot of people like to jump to conclusions whenever somebody makes like a slight change on the internet. So just prefacing everything I'm about to say with that. But I agree. I, I don't want to be stuck in this box my whole career here on youtube like i've the only thing i've ever wanted to do in my life ever since you know youtube has come out is i want to do youtube i want to create content i i all i want to do is just play games even if it's not playing games just make people laugh goof around create content that's what i like to do that's what i want to do and that's what i'm gonna do and i know the the lifespan of a content creator isn't a very long one in terms of them being on the internet for a while and you know making it work as a career so i got limited time to do so and if this is what ends it this is what ends it but i want to go into 
content creation and come out of it with as minimal regrets as possible. So I think going forward, you're going to see a little bit of a difference in, in, in content that I'm putting out. I don't think I'm only going to be playing COD like going forward here. Oh, we got we got them 14 or the EBR done. So let's go ahead and switch weapons. Like I said before, I've spent a decent amount of my life the past four years to like dedicated to Call of Duty, meaning that I've kind of missed out on a whole lot of games that have come out in the last few years. And I've only really seen glimpses of it through like social media or like watching my friends play it through discord and i don't want to just only play one game like my whole life it, it kind of gets tiring to do so like i feel like i'm pretty checked out on cod like you'll see other like cod content creators being like oh here's our new patch notes let me explain everything about them to you in the update they added this this and this uh we're gonna be going through this this and this Here's everything you need to know. Also, here's like the best meta weapons in the game and here's how to build them. Here's how to get high kill games, this, that, the other. Like, I don't really keep up with COD outside of me playing it. Like, I literally just play this game. I'm just a dude that plays this game and that's kind of where it starts and ends. Like, if you were to take my content for the last few years and boil it down to just a few things, it'd be me unlocking camos and just talking. Like most of the time while I'm playing the game, it's literally just me talking about whatever and making like a few dick ball and fart jokes along the way. Like if you were to look at the just gameplay wise, I, there's nothing earth shattering that I'm doing. Like if we look at my KD in this game, I'm, I've literally just been at like a 1.0 KD even. Sometimes under that, a lot of times under that, like when you see the scoreboard at the end of the game, I'm going negative most of the time. Like I'm not going to be competing for any COD championships or hitting any like insane trick shots on the regular. The only thing I would say I'm above average at is like throwing knives and tomahawks. Outside of that, I'm like just an average player at this game. So that's why I think it's kind of time to start moving out of the realm of COD. And again, it does not mean I'm not gonna ever play this game again, that I'm gonna stop uploading this regularly or whatever but I want to start doing some things that are different. Like the only other different games that I've really played outside of COD in the last few years are just games on the Switch and things that I play on like my own time. Like I haven't made a video on a different game since like maybe Fall Guys. And that was like two and a half years ago at this point. Like I, I just miss sitting down, making a video of shooting the shit with the boys like that the main reason i really started making content is kind of to have like a history to have like an encyclopedia to go back like with the guys and be like remember when we were doing this remember when we were doing that to go and see what we were up to at like basically any point in time it was a nice glimpse to, uh, to look back in like whatever good times we were having back in the day and i haven't really done that in a long time i feel like i've i've strayed away a little bit of what i really got into content creation for like I, I don't like being at the whim of whatever call of duty decides to do within like a certain amount of time like i am at the mercy of whatever content update is coming out for it and if there is content going for it i'm at the mercy of the popularity of whatever call of duty is out at the time like when vanguard came out i had to go back and play cold war for another year which was fine i like cold war and i had fun playing the zombies but it still didn't feel like that was really like everything that i could have been doing like even then when when I kind of shifted everything into zombies, it felt like I was stuck in the box of only playing Cold War zombies. Like that was the only thing that would kind of get views. And even then it wasn't anything crazy. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm still grateful that people even want to watch me do like Call of Duty zombies or play whatever. Like I am forever grateful that I even had any kind of success on this platform. But at times, you know, it was tough trying to figure out, okay, uh, I got to play Cold War Zombies today. What's the spin on it? Am I going to go to round 100 on this map for the fifth time this month? Or am I going to go and try to do this Easter egg for the third time? Or am I going to try to do some challenge where I have to play with like my nuts tied behind my back? Like it's just trying to find different ways to do the same thing over and over again. And I don't want to be stuck doing that for like the rest of my life. So like going forward, I just want to sprinkle in different games here and there like maybe once a week maybe a few times a week like i don't really have like a, a huge plan for this yet but i just want to let you guys know that like things are gonna uh, change a little bit around here and i know th i know change can be scary how it's gonna be fucking terrifying for me to do it because here on youtube even when you play something like a little different like going back to the zombies example 
where I was playing like Cold War zombies all the time. If I went and I played like Black Ops 3 being even one of the most popular zombie games, it would still take like a huge hit on the channel. And on YouTube, like you hear people talking about the YouTube algorithm all the time, but it's like, it's a, it's a real thing that you have to kind of like appease. Like I could go and grind camos for the 28th time on, you know, Black Ops Cold War Zombies. And that would get more views than playing like Black Ops 3 custom map that I had a lot of fun doing. Even if it feels like I'm having more fun doing something, more fun recording it, more fun editing it, like doing something different, all the YouTube algorithm wants you to do is the same thing over and over again and that can get like a little maddening and that's what leads to like creator burnout and things like that like i'm not saying i'm, I'm burnt out right now but i don't want to get to the point where i'm just getting burnt out again like i don't want to have the fun of content creation be sucked out of it because that's just what i have to do to keep it going and i bring up all this to say that i don't think i'll ever become a pillar of like the call of duty community like when you think of multiplayer you think of like jev when you think of zombies, you think of like Mr. Raffle Waffles. You think of like Warzone, you think J God. And the reason why all these people are like pillars of the community and like those aspects and those modes is because they have like the passion for the game and that game mode and they will put in the, the work and the drive and the, the thought into everything that goes into their content in that specific game. For me, I don't think I have the passion for Call of Duty to do that. Like I always played it off and on when I was younger and I only really came back to it like around Modern Warfare 2019. So it's not like I've been playing and keeping up with this game my whole life. I don't even really keep up with it now, this being the main game that I play. Like I'll just see updates on Twitter and I'll be like, oh, there's an update today. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. I mean, sometimes, most of the time, I do know around when an update's coming out and I'll plan for it, but I'm not like looking into it like, oh, this was patched, this was patched, uh, this was changed. Like, I I'm not too hyper-focused on it. I just hop on the game and I play it. Like, it, it don't go too much deeper than that. But the thing I am passionate about is creating content, playing games, all that good stuff. All I want to do is talk into a microphone, like shoot the shit with my pals and just create content, whether that's in Call of Duty or that's anywhere else. So if you see some videos in the future of it being in a different style or in a different game or anything, like this is just your, your forewarning for that. And I'm sorry if this whole long winded rant and everything is all over the place because it's kind of just me spewing my thoughts while playing a game which will be basically the same thing with any other game over it in the future like the the content isn't going to change a whole lot it's still just going to be me playing talking doing whatever but just the game that i'm playing might change oh sick all right we got the what is this the tac m i don't even know what gun i was doing oh the lms now we're on to the tac m but now that i'm done ranting about the existential crisis that i'm having as a creator uh, I talked about a few things that are wrong with COD. And, you know, let me let me lay out a few things I think that might be the solution for them. So definitely one thing that could be changed to help out multiplayer. Oh, actually a few things. And I, I've mentioned these before, so I'll be quick with them. Add more maps. Put more maps in the game. I'm sick of playing the same two maps for, for the last five years. Like the maps are good. They're fun. They're, they're efficient. But give us something similar to them. Like switch it up a bit. Like it's basically the exact same thing like every year give us some new modes give us more modes and bring back modes that people loved and then you remove for no reason at all i want to see gunfight and i want to see pop hunt those are the two at the top of my list give us more grindables i want to see different types of camos maybe an obsidian type thing maybe like a camo prestige system so you go through and you grind all the camos again to get a different color variant of whatever camo you've already done i don't think that'd be too difficult to do and it would give us a lot more to do but speaking of prestige bring back the old prestige system if you want to give people more of a reason to play your game and more stuff to grind that'll be really easy that you've already done before in the past make fucking xp worth something like i said after level 55 you're leveling up for nothing nobody cares that you're level 200 besides the fact to point it out and like point at your your dry dick and call you a virgin all it really shows is that you've played the game longer than somebody like there you get nothing out of it and i guess the same thing 
or the same argument can be made for the other prestige system, but at least you're kind of working towards something. And like when you prestige, you can only bring a few things with you, which I get why they wouldn't want to do that for like Warzone. Maybe keep the, the leveling system separate for that. I don't know how you would do that with all the games integrated. And I know it became a huge problem after like Modern Warfare 2019 and them adding a bunch of different games to it. Completely different story there. So I'm not a game dev. I don't know shit about fuck when it comes to coding, but I feel like a lot of people would like to see the old prestige system come back. It would give more meaning to all the XP that you try to give us. For Warzone, I'm going to be, you know, taking a few takes that I've seen on Twitter, but I agree with them and I'll just kind of voice them here. For Warzone, I definitely feel like the time to kill needs to be up. I guess you can say the same thing for multiplayer. So I guess I'll bump those two together. Up the time to kill. Yeah, it's really fast. Yeah, it, it helps out with balancing, making it so like most guns are like viable and you don't have to do a whole lot of like patch updates because one gun's like way OP than the other. So maybe find some way to balance that. But the time to kill is way too fast in Warzone. I feel like most of the time when I'm getting in fights, if I'm going against more than one person, uh, I, I had a chance to clutch it. Even if, you know, how ass I am, at least with the time to kill and the ability to like sprint and plate and everything, there, there was at least a chance that I could like 1v2 or 3, maybe even 4. And this current version of Warzone, I feel like if somebody sees me first and they get like one or two shots on me, I have a very low chance, almost the same chance I would have had at like 1v4ing in the first Warzone to win that engagement. Like there's so many times where I see somebody for 0.1 second and before I can even react, I'm dead. I think they should also change the looting system in Warzone back to the Warzone 1 looting system. I feel like that was way faster, way cleaner, but I do think they should keep the current like looting like system and everything in DMZ. I think it works for DMZ, but not for Warzone. I think I saw either Charlie Intel or like Ghost of Hope or Monitor for Two Ghost. One of those Twitter accounts say something like that, and I completely agree with it. One issue I've seen a lot of people discuss, which I'm not really like too sure on. I feel like I go back and forth on this, is the whole loadout drops in the shop. They they finally added it into the shop. I like their pricing in like solo, duo and trio and squads like how the price goes up per the amount of players on your team i think that's a good call but only having one at the shop is kind of bogus like if some team just ends up getting there before you then you can't get your load out or you have to wait for it to you know spawn in after the it's either like the first or the second circle i don't know but i feel like if one team should be able to get it every team should be able to get it the only thing i'm saying that i switch in like back and forth on about for the loadouts is i don't like the whole like meta class and everything like i don't like having to go see like i have to go and check on whatever video or google and see like what weapon do i need to be able to compete in warzone this week because everybody's going to be running that same class and if you don't have it then you're at a severe disadvantage to everybody else like that's a huge reason why i stopped playing like warzone around when vanguard came out is because i wasn't playing vanguard a whole lot and if you don't play the current cod with warzone the, your ability to create like the meta class and keep up with everybody else using it is just like non-existent like your ground loot weapons aren't going to keep up with somebody's like pro tuned vector and whatever crazy secondary goes with it and then the issue that creates is that people like are are screaming for it to be nerfed and by the time i get it leveled up and get like camos for it or whatever it's nerfed and i have to go through the whole run around of doing it again like that's the main reason i don't really like the whole loadout system of everybody like racing to get the next meta weapon because it feels like if you're not that you don't have your your finger on the pulse of what weapon's good at the time then playing warzone is just not as fun because you're just gonna get shit on by little timmy and whatever weapon is hot that week but since i am shitting on warzone right now i will say a few things that it does well i think the map is pretty good overall i think seeing a lot of like all of the older model for two maps which should definitely be in this game right now for multiplayer if they already have everything made, just go ahead and cut it off a little bit and toss it into multiplayer. That's beside the point. I think El Masra is a good map, and I think the Prox chat was an amazing feature and the main reason I keep coming back to that game. So if they ever remove Prox chat, I'm done playing Warzone. Just, just a little FYI for COD and whoever like cares. Oh, one thing I forgot to bitch about is the Gulag. I really don't like having 2v2 Gulag. I, it feels so dumb. A lot of the time, I'm going to be paired with somebody who's ass. And I'm going to say that regardless of what happens if I die. I'm always going to blame the teammate and never myself. It's never my fault if I die or get killed. It's always that person's hacking, cheating, 
or my teammate sucks. Obviously joking, but the main problem I have with the 2v2 gulag is if me and my teammate die at the same time, I hardly ever have a gulag where I'm fighting alongside my teammate. It's always some random. Most of the time, we're not even in the same gulag. So it's like if they're fighting... Uh, like, you know, previous gulags, I could at least call out for them or something. Or we could just, like, mess with the same person who's also waiting for their gulag to start. But most of the time, they're nowhere to be found. Like, I'll die, then my teammate dies, and then gulag starts, and I'm, I'm paired up with, with Ballsack McGee 420 exclamation point. I know I just called out somebody's password there. Yeah, you better change that one, pal. But just switch it back to solos, and we'll be all good. I do like that whatever you pick up in the gulag on your way out and they do have a few little treats in there like grabbing like uh, a three plate armor vest is pretty sick and leaving with it but the rest of it's got to go I think I, I, I've about said everything that I, I would change about modern warfare uh, multiplayer and warzone I think I'm done with my rant I definitely missed a few things so uh feel free to yell at me about that in the comments oh we're done with this gun uh, I'm probably just gonna end up getting this signal 50 done and I'll, I'll i'll see you guys when it's done unless i start hitting some nasty shots with it oh Ooh. okay maybe i am a professional i'm the nastiest gamer alive nobody can touch me uh, except that guy oh is that it i don't even know i'm flash banged oh yeah that's it let's go backing out of this let's go ahead and throw the camo on and let's go see what they look like in game i'll see you guys there all right let's take a quick peep at these this is our ebr with polyatomic pretty cool probably one of the last times we'll be looking through these until new weapons add or get added great english uh this is our lms i want to say these guns are all very forgettable so i'm sorry i forget their names this is the tac m looks pretty cool with it but i think all guns do well, the one thing they did do good in this game is the camo coverage and this is our signal 50. it's a fucking beaut isn't it well now we have basically every gun in this game done uh I, at least i'm pretty sure i'll go back through and check again at some point if i'm missing a gun i'll go ahead and do it but i'm pretty sure we're all done with every camo in this game and thank you again for you guys listening to my rants today about content creation uh the future of this channel and just call of duty in general and like i say every time and i do mean it uh thank you guys for everything none of this would be possible without you i am forever grateful for this opportunity and uh i'm gonna go ahead and chief on uh mango puff bar and listen to some baby tron i will see you guys in the next one goodbye